So we start with set up um, serial begin and your uh, board rate. I'm using 9600 in this video, which isn't common for me, but anyway, there you go. So pin mode A3 input. So I told you earlier to connect the middle pin of the potentiometer to A3. And the reason for that is A3 is analog 3. It can be used for analog input. And that analog 3 pin um, can be used as an ADC pin. And ADC means analog to digital converter. And that's exactly what we need in this situation. I'm not going to go through that, but uh, if you're interested in ADC, then I think I've got another video which um, which explains that in better in better ways. So um, yeah, ADC we're using pin A3 analog 3 as an input. So basically, analog 3 is going to be provided a voltage from 0 to 5 volts, and 0 volts will mean off, and 5 volts will mean full on, and points in the middle will um, correspond to the fan speed. So byte duty. We need a byte which holds from 0 to 254 characters. Sorry, 255 characters. And um, like in the previous video, we're going to analog write, which which means PWM, pulse width modulation. We're going to write to pin 10 the value of duty. Okay, so now we've got to set the value of duty. I've got some output and input here. This is just for diagnostics, but I've written duty equals analog read A3 divided by 4. You might be thinking, well, what the hell is that? Why divide by 4? Um, well, the reason is, is because the ADC gets an analog voltage from 0 to 5, so uh, 0 to 5 volts, and the way, the way it converts it is a number from 0 to 1024. And um, that's just the way the ADC works. It's just because you want a lot of resolution. And um, since PWM only works from 0 to 255, well, if you divide this number by 4, because there are 4 255s in it, if you think about it, um, well, it works. So that number divided by 4 will always be a number from 0 to 255, so it's perfect. Okay, so that's why we divide by 4. And then... Um, and then we're done. So just loop and continue, basically continually read A3 divided by 4 and um, and there we go, analog with that number. Okay, so I'll just upload this now. Okay, so we've got the sketch flashed over to the Arduino and we've got everything wired up as it should be. So let's give it a try. So I'll just turn the knob of the potentiometer. Um, I'm looking at my serial console as well at the same time and let's see what happens. So the serial console is reading 8 points out of 255. It's starting to go, look. It's now reading 20, 25, 30. Yeah, 30 is enough. That's taking 60 milliamps. 30, that's 60 milliamps. Let's go a bit more. 30, 40. That's taking 90 milliamps. 60 out of 255, that's taking 120 milliamps. 90 out of 255, that's taking 170 milliamps. 120, so this is, I'll just make that 128. Okay, that's halfway there. 1 to 8 and it's taken 210 milliamps. That's interesting because that's about full. Oh no it's not. Right, it's going higher. 220 milliamps. Two hundred. Right, so that's full speed now. 255, 230 milliamps. I can hear that so maybe you can too. It's off now. On the potentiometer anyway. Okay, so I think that's this little series over, really. Um, 
So I've shown you how you can power a higher powered device using the Arduino. Um, how you can control the power to that on or off. I've shown you how you can vary the voltage of that using the Arduino um, by using PWM to be able to sort of control a voltage from, well let's say this is 12 volts, which it is. You could, you could get the Arduino to vary the voltage anywhere between 0 to 12 by using PWM. And now I've also shown you how you can um, get sort of an interface, if you like, to the Arduino to tell it, you know, to tell it to what levels to control the, um, the power to this device here, this externally powered device. Um, so there we go, I think that's the end of the, the series. So, okay, yeah, so thank you for watching, and um, thanks to the guy who has given me the ideas too, um, much appreciated. If anyone has any more ideas, then please let me know and I'll um, consider it for future videos. Bye!